Welcome back, everybody. You know, it takes a team of working people to put on a great Broadway show. Actors, writers, costume designers, stagehands, front of house staff taking the tickets, and the folks who keep our theaters clean. But when the lights went out on Broadway, so many of these New Yorkers were suddenly left without work, and they were left with a lot of uncertainty in their lives. The man next to us made sure that so many of these good people had the support they needed to make it through. We know Brian Stokes Mitchell as one of the great leading men of our time. From his Tony Award winning performance in Kiss Me Kate to his one of a kind baritone, Brian is truly one of a kind talent. And his work goes far beyond the stage and screen. For the past 18 years, he has served as the chairman of the Actors Fund, supporting thousands of working professionals each year in theater, television, film, and dance here in New York City. Over this past year, when this community needed him most, Brian, or Stokes as his friends like to call him, went above and beyond. And since you are a great friend to this city, we're gonna call you Stokes from here on out. Thank you. Last April, as Stokes recovered from his own fight with COVID-19, he lifted his apartment window and sang for our frontline healthcare heroes, reminding all of us, you can never keep a New Yorker down. And over the course of the year, Stokes and the Actors Fund found a way to support more than 40,000 working professionals in the arts, keeping food on their tables, a roof over their heads for so many families, making sure creative professionals had the mental health support they needed to get through this very difficult time. And in the middle of a nationwide reckoning with systemic racism and injustice, Stokes, along with his wife, Allison Tucker Mitchell, and 17 founding members stood together to create Black Theater United, an organization dedicated to nurturing Black talent, protecting Black communities, and making sure Black stories will be told. So Stokes, you've helped to keep the heart of our city alive, and you are helping us to come back stronger and fairer. So on behalf of myself and our First Lady, on behalf of the entire Broadway community, and on behalf of eight and a half million New Yorkers, it's my great pleasure to present you with the key to our city. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Thank you so much, Mayor de Blasio. Well deserved, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, First Lady McCray. Thank you. This is, this is gorgeous. <laughs> what an honor. <laughs> Thanks once again, Mayor de Blasio and First Lady McRae. I was raised all over the world, but New York is by far the place that I have lived the longest and where I have enjoyed the richest part of my career and my life. It's where my amazing wife, Allison, and I met and have lived our entire married life of 26 years, and where our most incredible son, Ellington, has lived his entire life, being the one New York native in our family. By the way, I think this town is the best place in the world to raise a kid because New York City is, is the world in microcosm. So many different kinds of people live here, different races, nationalities, religions, sexual orientations, political parties, all from different socioeconomic strata. And we all get along remarkably well together. Even in times of great trials and tribulations like we've all been experiencing over the last year. Living in New York City gives me hope for the world and for the future. It is a most extraordinary honor to receive the key to this most extraordinary city and I am deeply grateful. Like so many communities across New York, the Broadway community has been devastated by the pandemic. It has taken nothing short of a Herculean effort to get us to the place we are finally all metaphorically standing in the theater lobby, ready to rush in and sit down in exultant anticipation with our playbills in hand. We owe a great debt of gratitude to everyone involved in that effort. Our frontline workers, our healthcare professionals, our elected officials who understand the value of the arts 
and are doing so much to help artists through this terrible pandemic. And we also thank all those who volunteer their time to sustain us and are helping us get vaccinated. And of course, I thank the Actors Fund, which I am so proud to serve. Our CEO, Joe Benincasa, who is here today, and the incredible Actors Fund staff who stepped up to provide almost $22 million in emergency financial relief and additional critical services like health insurance counseling, wellness visits, affordable housing assistance, and more, directly to those who needed it most. And the Actors Fund will continue to help because the pandemic will impact our community for many more months and years. Now, it's gonna take yet another Herculean effort to make sure our industry has a full and lasting recovery. We all look forward to coming back stronger, better, more diverse, more equitable, and that means relying on New Yorkers and everyone who loves New York to show up, buy a ticket, and see a Broadway show. Without you, there is no show. I think I can speak on behalf of the entire Broadway community when I say thank you. We cannot wait to see you at the theater again soon. And thank you once again, Mayor de Blasio, for the key to this remarkable city. For me, it will always be a symbol that the real key to this city is the amazing people who keep it going, who keep trying, who dream the impossible dream and reach the unreachable star.